Hey there, it's John Siskovich. It's early to mid-March here in Western Connecticut, and I moved my chickens out of the greenhouse and onto the pasture. I wanna talk about why I did it, why I did it when I did it, and some of the elements with how they're living outside this year, 2016. <laughs> So it was a really exciting thing, putting the birds back out on grass. We had a super mild winter. It was really warm. We didn't need to keep them in the greenhouse as long as we did last year. Last year, at this time, we still had feet of snow. There was 30 inches of frost. The soil was frozen that far down. It was really crazy. This year, I got out a lot sooner. So I put them out in this area. I moved them specifically for one reason, but it's had a lot of good side effects. I had a fox that was able to get into the greenhouse because the end of the wall doesn't seal that well. And out of 33 chickens, I lost 11. So I lost exactly a third of my chickens. A year and a half of managing them the same way, two years managing them the same way, and I had never lost a bird to a ground predator. And finally, it struck. What? The bright side is I didn't have hundreds of chickens and I didn't lose hundreds of chickens. I lost 11 birds, which is tragic and sad, and I'll save the tears for my own private uh, scenario but now they're outside they're an electric mesh they're in a coop that I can close up at night and they're safe I haven't lost a single one of them even that even though that fox now knows it can find chickens on my farm so a real brief overview of what we have going on here I have one for 22 birds and one rooster I have one 164 foot poultry netting from premier one uh, fencing that is wrapping around the whole entire area so they're enclosed so nothing can get in. I have one PR50 uh, solar charger from, again, um, Premier One Fencing. So that's charging my fence. Uh, it's pretty hot right now, which is good. I have them in my mobile chicken coop, which needs design upgrades. It's pretty good so far and I like what I've done to it, but I've learned some new things this winter that I, I think I'm gonna build an entire new one, but more on that as the year progresses. And for now, my birds are really happy. I have them on the side of my field where I don't typically run broilers and I, have, I occasionally run sheep, but now they're picking through the scratch, the thatch that has developed over the winter and I have a video on that. I'll have it up in the corner somewhere. And uh, just enjoying the sunshine in this bright, beautiful March day. I even had to bust out the sunglasses today. So the birds are outside, have them in this coop set up. They have an automatic water, the feed. They're not going through that quickly because it's only 20 birds and uh, they're happy and I can close them up at night. So any of the ground predators, which are looking for things to eat after some winter hibernation, uh, these birds are safe from that. If you have any questions about my egg layers in 2016, I'm only keeping it hobby scale for this year as I learned some more. I found that they weren't really profitable in the past. So I'm taking uh, a step back, revisiting it, learning some new things, learning some new coop designs, picked up one from Joel Salatin recently, which is really supreme. Um, but if you have any of that, leave it in the comment section below. Subscribe to the channel if you want to see more stuff like this. And until next time, I will see you out in the field.